can begin tonight at 10 o'clock with a partnership between Indianapolis Public Schools and the city. They're working together to turn an old school building into overflow housing for people who are homeless. The Susan R. Leach School 68 would be open to women and children and families in the winter months if all the other city facilities are at capacity. News aides Demi Johnson is live for us tonight. Demi, you had the chance to talk to people who live near the school. Yeah, and some say they worry that the shelter could bring trouble to the neighborhood. Others tell us they're happy to see the building being used for good, but the partnership between the city and the district does come with some restrictions. So Donald Kuhn has lived in his east side home for many years. Been here since 71. Over time, he's seen neighbors come and go and a nearby school close. Not much goes on around here. It's pretty quiet. But lately, he's noticed a little more life in the former Susan Leach School 68 building. So I figured something was going on. I just didn't know what. The plans are in place to use the vacant building as an overflow homeless shelter from December through April. I guess it's better than having a prison next door. While Kuhn is happy people will be helped there, he worries about the impact a shelter might have on his neighborhood. It could. I'll, I'll put it that way. It could cause issues. Whether they let it cause issues will be something else. Letting things get out of hand doesn't seem to be part of the plan. For starters, the site will have 24-hour staffing by Wheeler Mission with custodial and security contracted through the city. People can only stay there if they have a referral and are screened by Wheeler Mission staff. It'll only be open to women and children. Men can't stay at the school unless they're with their family. The shelter will also enforce a 9.30 p.m. curfew. People staying at the shelter can't bring drugs or alcohol and all of their personal items will be inspected. It would be a great idea. I know there's a lot of homeless people in Indiana. And Kevin Price was once one of them. And I've been there before. This might have been a while ago, but it was there for me, and it's not a good place. He's proud to be back on his feet, but says he knows sometimes others need a push. And if the empty school building can provide that, he hopes city leaders make it happen. If anybody can help, I wish they would. Everyone should help. Because if you can, please do it. People at the shelter will have access to case managers and employment services. The goal is to transition them eventually into full-time housing. Tomorrow, IPS will vote to approve the plan. Reporting in Indianapolis, Demi Johnson, Wish TV, WishTV.com, and follow us on Facebook.